Today, I want to share with you the salvation story of a high-ranking military commander. His name is Hussein. He says he was born in a fanatic Islamic family. He says, one day I found about my wife's infidelity. That destroyed me. He says, I left with my two-year daughter and I wanted to divorce her. She, he says, for 40 days I was in shock and I didn't know what to do. Then he says, I decided to kill her. So one day I went to her house and opened the gas valve so that when she comes home and turns the lights on, then there will be an explosion and she will die. But I missed something and my plans failed to succeed. He says, one day my friend invited me to his house and told me that just a week before that, he had come to know Christ through your ministry. And he told me about Jesus and he wanted to share Jesus with me. He says, all night we talked about Jesus and all night I was hearing about Jesus and I was sobbing as I heard the truth about God's love through Jesus. Just there, I knelt and asked Jesus to set me free from my anger and hatred. I felt a great peace that I had never felt before. The day after that, he says, I called my ex-wife and forgave her. My heart that once was hard now became full of peace and joy. After a while, my ex-wife also came to know Christ and prayed the salvation prayer. Today, now this is today, today, my wife, my daughter, and I are living together in Christ's love. I'm so grateful that I didn't remain in death and became alive in Christ. Then he finishes with this. I am a military commander and I'm giving out the good news of Jesus in my workplace. I am a military commander and I'm living out the good news of Jesus in my workplace so that people can see our God's glory through me. What a transformation. Thank God. He is in the business of transformation. And when you and I join together to just share the gospel with them, they all come to Christ. The desperate, yes. The sick, yes. But also high-ranking military commanders are coming to Christ. Let's continue to work together to pray. And I want to thank to those who are supporting us. Would you consider to support us if you are not already doing it? And if you do, I want to thank you. This is the result of us working together. God bless you.